What would you do with a million dollars in your bank account? What if you had a hundred million? And what would it be like to be the richest person in the world? In the last couple of years, we've seen many individuals rise at the top of different lists that revolve around the richest people in the world. When you look at them, you realize that some of them really did work hard to get where they are, and some others were lucky enough to be born into families that were already rich. There are different ways to become rich, and as simple mortals with regular jobs and regular salaries, we can only imagine what that luxurious lifestyle of a rich person would look like. In today's video, we'll be looking at 10 of the richest women in the world. We'll see how they earn their fortune and what they're doing with it. Do you have an idea of who's the richest woman of them all? With all that said and done, let's begin, shall we? Number 10. Gina Reinhardt. The first woman on this list comes all the way from Australia. Her name is Gina Reinhardt and she has a net worth of $13.1 billion. And how did she become so rich? Well, it was through the iron ore industry, which is a very popular activity in her home country. As of 2020, a unit of iron ore is valued at about 121 US dollars, which is almost $30 more expensive than previous years. And iron ore is the main source of primary iron to produce steel, so you can see how being part of this business can easily make you rich. Gina is the daughter of a very famous iron ore explorer named Lang Hancock, and Gina has been the chair of his company since the year 1992. Over the last couple of months, Gina's empire has lost about $2 billion due to the global pandemic, but even with that loss, she still keeps her position as one of the richest women alive. Number 9. Zhan Huiyan. Next on our list, we have a billionaire from China. Her name is Zhan Huiyan, and she is the leader of a very important pharmaceutical company called Hanso. They are known for the production of medicine that helps treat cancer, prevent diabetes, and other medicines that are life-changing for many. She owns more than three-quarters of the company along with her daughter, Sun Yang. Her net worth is $14.6 billion, and as if having a billionaire in the family wasn't enough, she's married to a man who is also very rich thanks to the same industry. His name is Sun Paya Yang, and he is the chairman of Jiangsu Hengru Medicine which is another pharmaceutical company that's actually considered to be the largest one in their country. They develop important drugs, such as antibiotics and drugs for surgery. Together, Zhang Huiyan and her husband have certainly made a fortune by providing important medicine to many people around the world. Number 8. Laureen Powell Jobs You know that popular expression that says that behind a great man is a great woman? Well, here's an example of that. Lorene Powell is the wife of the late Steve Jobs, the man who helped create Apple Inc., the company that made your iPhone, your iPad, and your MacBook, and also took away a headphone jack. They made AirPods, though, so that's cool. When Steve Jobs passed away, Lorene inherited a lot of money. Now, some people might think she's rich just because she was married to Steve, but she actually accomplished a lot of things on her own. She co-founded a natural foods company, and she has worked towards the enhancement of educational programs for the less privileged. And the fortune that she inherited has been used for a lot of productive things. She's put a lot of money towards the Emerson Collective, which is an organization that focuses on health, education, immigration, reform, media, and the environment. As of today, her net worth is $18.8 .8 billion. She obviously dreams and believes in a better world, and she doesn't want her money to sit there with no purpose. Number 7. Suzanne Clatton More than a hundred years ago, the BMW company was founded in order to make engines for aircrafts. Little did they know that decades later, this company would become one of the most popular producers of cars and motorcycles. And not just any cars, but luxurious vehicles that would bring a lot of money to its owners. An industrialist named Herbert Quant became the person who led the company to the luxury market. And he was married to a woman named Johanna. Together they had children, and now one of them is among the richest women in the world. Her name is Suzanne Clatton, and she is from Germany. She has a net worth of around $24.2 billion, and she owns part of the BMW company, along with her brother and a few other people. But that's not all. Suzanne is also the owner of Atlanta, a company that creates chemicals that are useful in industries such as paint, printing, cosmetics, and others. As opposed to BMW, Suzanne doesn't share the ownership of Atlanta with anyone else. Her net worth might have been affected over the pandemic due to the fact that not a lot of people were interested in buying cars, but I'm sure she has more than enough to carry on with her life. Number 6. Yang Huiyan 
Born in China with a nationality from Cyprus, Yang Huiyan is a businesswoman and a property developer. She owns the majority of Country Garden Company, which she inherited from her father. And she's not the only woman on board. Her sister Zi Yang also owns shares of the company. Zheng Huiyan is only 38 years old and she is also the chairwoman of a Chinese education company called Bright Scholar Education Holdings, in which she participates with her aunt, who was also listed by Forbes as one of the richest people in China for the year 2017. You can see that the pandemic affected the net worth of some of the women on this list, but in the case of Yang, her company used this strange time as an opportunity to develop robotic automated food serving stations to feed Chinese medical workers in Wuhan. For those out of the loop, Wuhan is where all this started. Her net worth is valued at $20.3 billion and this lady is not wasting any time as she's being as productive as she can. Number 5. Jacqueline Mars Now the next woman on this list became a billionaire by inheriting money from the sales of a very interesting industry that I wouldn't consider a necessity, but is indeed known by all of us. I'm talking about the candy industry. That's right, Jacqueline Mars and her brother inherited a third of Mars Inc., which is the company that produces M&Ms, Milky Way bars, Snickers, and other candy that you probably had at some point in your life or even today. As of today, Jacqueline's net worth is $24.7 billion, and she also owns part of a pet food and vet care business. But you can't say that Jacqueline just got that money without working for it. She was actually an employee of the company for about 20 years, and she kept herself busy as a member of the board until 2016. Her family was rich, but she worked hard to keep it that way. Number 4. Julia Coach The next woman is quite new to the list of billionaire women. She inherited a fortune in 2019 after her husband passed away at the age of 79. His name was David, and along with his brother, they ran Koch Industries, which is now considered the second largest private company in the US. But now that David is gone, his shares of the company are a possession of Julia and the three children that she had with David. Julia and her late husband also became famous for their generosity. Together they donated $10 million to Mount Sinai Medical Center and another $10 million to Stanford's Children's Hospital for the study of food allergies. Julia also had experience working for the fashion industry and she had very important clients, including First Lady Nancy Reagan. Today, Julia's net worth is valued at $38.2 billion. Number 3. Francois Betancourt Myers in 1909, Eugene Schuller founded a cosmetic company in France. The name of the company is L'Oreal, and today it's owned by Eugene's granddaughter, Francois, or however you pronounce that name. And prior to her becoming the heiress of the cosmetic empire, the company was owned by her mother, Liliane, who at the time was the richest woman in all the earth. While Francois is not the richest woman in the world, her current net worth is $64.3 billion, which is still higher than what her mom had when she was alive. Francois lost about $400 million due to the pandemic, but that didn't stop her from taking some initiative to create hand sanitizer for the French and other European health workers. Now it's time for the day's best pick. The picture I chose for the day shows a woman who was very rich. She wasn't a billionaire, but she had a very extravagant lifestyle. Her name is Jocelyn Weidenstein, and even though she didn't make it to our list, I wanted to give her a special mention. Her divorce was a famous event of the late 90s and people recognized her because of her extensive cosmetic surgery which led people to call her Catwoman and Lion Queen. And that's mostly due to her cat-like appearance. Rumors say that at one point she had $500 million worth of possessions, but now she only has $10 million. Man, really feeling that poverty burn right there. That happened because of her extravagant lifestyle which led her to spend a lot of money. Now let's have a look at the two women at the top of our list. Number 2. Alice Walton You might not know Alice, but you definitely know the company she is linked to. Walmart. The place where a lot of you get your groceries and other goods. As of 2020, her net worth is of $65.3 billion. And while she doesn't have any position at Walmart, she's leading a program within the Walton Foundation to help charter schools with $300 million to help them build and renovate their facilities. She was lucky to be born into the Walton family fortune, but we gotta know that she was also an analyst and a money manager for banks and many important organizations before she claimed her title as the heiress of the family fortune. She also loves art, and she's using her position of power to develop programs that help others develop their artistic skills. 
Before we move on, do me a favor. My analytics show that only about 15% of you watching are actually subscribed. Come on guys, what's up with that? Can you guys please hit the subscribe button? You guys watch my videos every day anyway, so you might as well subscribe and keep up to date with every video we put out. Number 1. Mackenzie Scott Mackenzie Scott is currently the richest woman in the world with a net worth of $68 billion. She's known as the ex-wife of Amazon CEO Jeff Bezos, but she's also a philanthropist and an author. She wrote an award-winning novel, and in recent months, she donated $1.7 billion of her fortune towards 116 organizations in order to address issues such as racial inequality and climate change. She is also part of an initiative that encourages the richest people in the world to give the majority of their wealth to charitable causes. Mackenzie is truly inspiring, just like everyone else on this list, for the most part. Who's the most inspiring woman that you know? Let us know in the comments section down below. With all that said and done, that's our video for the day, folks, and I will see you all next time. Later, everybody.